What's up guys, Kyle here. Now today we're gonna to be unboxing the Blue Vivo XL smartphone. Uh, this is Vivo's currently newest smartphone. They have the Vivo XL and Vivo 5, which are the newest phones. Couldn't get my hands on the Vivo 5. It's been out of stock for a while, so we got ourselves the XL, and uh, let's go ahead and box it. Oh man, I can't get over the back of this phone. That is extremely reflective plastic. Uh, it's got the same speaker grill in the bottom here. Let's pop this. Uh, battery in it. Now I feel like this is kind of the same plastic like the Galaxy S3 and that line of series, the Note 2. Um, that kind of approach on uh, the design. I'm definitely not getting liquid metal uh, from any portion of this phone. Um, yeah, I mean maybe the sides or something. but. Uh, the plastic kind of kills it in terms of the design. If you want to go liquid metal and then you go plastic on the back, that's kind of strange. But uh, definitely appreciate the removable battery on the back. 5.5 inch uh, Super AMOLED Gorilla Glass 3 and a slim aluminum unibody. It's probably why it's so light. 7.5 millimeters, that's, that's very thin actually, especially for a, a pretty big battery. 13 megapixel camera. Volipop, I heard this had marshmallow, so we'll have to check it out and see. Um, 1.3 gigahertz, 64 bit. We'll have to see how good this processor is compared to the One X. Uh, if it's at least on par, then that'll definitely be satisfactory. All right, let's get this set up. All right, now while that's booting up, Let's see what else is in the box. Probably standard blue devices. Come with earbuds, of course. Um, built in mic and one button. Let's see. Wow! Has a USB Type C. That's something I did not uh, notice. I don't know, I missed that. As you can tell right here, USB Type C. And what else do we have on the phone? Nothing on the left side. On the top we have the 3.5 millimeter jack. On the right side the lock button on the bottom. Volume rocker on the top. I'm very anxious to give this phone uh, a try. All right, now the phone just had an update. Uh, it is the June 1st uh, update, as it says, which is 5.1, still not Marshmallow, just uh, so you guys know. Now this adapter, power adapter, is a two milliamp, um, two amp, five volt. Um, so before the USB type C charger, let's see, of course, comes the plastic case. Really wish they would provide a, a better case. I mean, it's cool that they provide a case, period, but this is not what I'm gonna use. And let's see what else, we got some dual SIM installation guide, and it has a separate memory card slot. Here's the quick guide. And last but not least, a screen protector, as they always do. No surprise there. All right, guys, um, first impressions on the phone is, holy crap, that's bright. Uh, of course, it's an AMOLED display, so it looks super colorful. I checked out the camera. Looks pretty good so far. Um, the actual size of the optics is really small, and they were kind of gloating about it on the page, saying that it's a, a 2.0 aperture, I believe, but everything looks really good. 13 megapixels, so not you know, great zoom effects. I'll give more on my review. Um, you guys want to leave a comment below and want me to make a separate video before I come out with my full review, let me know, pinpointing things such as the battery or uh, camera quality. But as far as the unboxing goes, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Be sure to sub for more. Talk to you in the next one, guys. Later.